Today on the Tapi Show, Vivek on Ukraine government theft goes viral. Vivek on the mainstream media retweet by Elon Musk goes viral as well. Bud Light be right back tweet is mostly unwanted. Suits wins 2000 stream streaming wars. Amazon walks away from the iRobot acquisition. Starbucks olive oil infused drinks is out this week. And Toyota has yet another recall, this time due to defective airbags. All of that and much more on The Topping Show. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of Topping Show is sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added reseller and services company with a special purpose to the IT security. Heck, I see their founder at least twice a day. Guys, he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, you see, that's a joke. If you're an IT there or a business owner, reach the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Also trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of February, so click that button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Now going over to the business part of the podcast, you have Amazon walking away from the iRobot acquisition. Now iRobot is perhaps one of the most popular toys for people who are too lazy to actually vacuum their own house. But in all seriousness, it's a little, I want to say it's a knockoff Roomba. I forgot which one comes first. But it's a little fancy device that looks like a frisbee that will suck up the crumbs all around your house, which I think they start at a few hundred bucks. It's they're, they're quite a pretty penny. Now, in terms of the value of that product, like most things these days, the value really is in the data. Imagine if you buy one of those robots, or more accurately, you own that company. All of a sudden, thanks to the robots tracking your house, they do the perimeter sweeps. They know your house layouts. They know where all your stuff is. That gives you some fantastic telemetry that could be used for data to sell the customer a myriad of different products. I mean, imagine they, Amazon, if they had this technology or if they bought it and they had this data in their realm, they'd be able to say, well, hey, Top, and we notice you have X amount of square footage and this couch on our website, it would fit perfect in this part of the house. Because again, they would have all that data from you. So there were a lot of opportunities for them to build upon and the only real reason they didn't you know, actually go through the sale is because of government intervention. Now, again, this was a proposed $1.4 billion takeover of the company, which, granted, for Amazon is chump change. It's basically a rounding error. It's like $0.13 cents to us. Now, they noted that they decided to walk away from the deal after the European Union regulars threatened to block that deal. Now, like most of these instances, once you go into it, if you choose to walk away or if it breaks, there's penalties. So it looks like Amazon had to pay $94 million termination fee to iRobot. <clears throat> and they also know that its, its CEO had stepped down as a struggling company prepares to cut nearly one third of its jobs. So it'll be interesting to see how may they be able to bounce back or where their other outlets are. Maybe Microsoft will buy them in, in terms of I'm trying to think of another tech company that would benefit from having that type of tel telemetry data. I mean, it's not the run possibility for his company, which most people would say is not an IT company necessarily, but like something like the Home Depot, where again, if you have all that data on the layout of a house, how can you optimize and how can you profit off that data? So I'm not too surprised that Amazon chooses to walk away from this because of the intervention they don't want. They don't want to get in too much trouble with the government entities being accused of being monopoly and possibly bro being broken up like Standard Oil way back in the day. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, what's the final outcome. But it is unfortunate to hear that a lot of people are going to be cut from that company. And hopefully they're able to find some new and perhaps better opportunities in the future. Again, thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of February. So click that number, I greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a comment, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. is a great way to give me a little additional insight as well as some tips on how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, Tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe, fight the good fight. 